All right, you guys, so we are down here in Midtown Anchorage. Like I said, this is more or less our business district. All right, so this is one of our more popular movie theaters, Century 16. Um, they have the um, XD Extreme Digital Cinema. It's pretty pricey, but I mean, I went to see Avatar. That was a long time ago. And I think I may have seen a Terminator movie in the XD theater as well, and it was totally worth it. It was in 3D, it was awesome. Um, and then this one also features the luxury loungers that they have listed on the side of the building. But it's a pretty big theater. This may be one of our largest theaters, I'm not sure. But it's pretty nice inside. Let's see, who's playing? I don't have my glasses, y'all, I can't see that. <laughs> so anywho, all right, let's keep going. All right, you guys, and we have Chuck E. Cheese here in Midtown. It is usually a madhouse, but maybe it's just too early right now. It's almost two o'clock, and there's not that many people in the parking lot, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna change here very soon. Okay, you guys, so we have Nordstrom Rack. So we're looking at the, um, I wanna say it's the Anchorage City Mall. I'll get the name of it. We're gonna swing around the front here, but we got Nordstrom Rack here in the back. I'm not really crazy about Nordstrom Rack. Um, I felt like their customer service kind of acted like you were bothering them <laughs> when you want to help. And I'm all about customer service, you guys, so. All right. Okay, y'all, so I had the name all wrong. It, it's actually called the Midtown Mall now, whereas it used to be the Sears Mall. Let's go inside. All right, you guys, we are about to go inside the Midtown Mall. There's really that, not that much in it anymore. Um, they closed down quite a few shops. I'm not sure if it was because the lease went up. That kind of happened in quite a few of the malls here, but we'll give it a quick stroll, see what we can see. All right. on Sundays, I guess. So this shop right behind me, Stallone's, is the shop that my mom used to go to to get my dad's suits, belts, um, shoes, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think they have any other menswear stores here in town that are as high quality as Stallone's. So for you guys that are out there that are into, you know, if you're a sharp dresser or what have you, you'll want to come check out this shop right behind me. 
All right, so there's a long hallway where you can go to like the guitar shop that we were in a few vlogs ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back out because there are some other space places that I wanna show you guys. So let's go ahead and get back outside. All right, you guys, I just, I cannot get over this weather. It is so gorgeous, see? You guys thought it was just all ice and snow. You've been sleeping on us. All right, um, gotta find my car. Forgot where I parked it. Okay, all you old heads out there, meaning those of you who lived in Alaska or are currently living in Alaska, you've been here for a while, you recognize Panda Restaurant. That is if you're into Chinese food now. We used to order from Panda quite a bit back in the day and they had really good food, but I have to be honest with you guys, the last couple years, I don't think their food is as great as it used to be. I don't know if they have new management or what, but personally, I prefer Thai food now, um, but they used to be really good. It's been a while since I've been to Panda Restaurant, so if anybody has been there recently, um, if you want to leave down in the comments, <laughs> did you enjoy the food? Um, what are your thoughts there? Okay, so here's another one for some of y'all oldies out there. You either lived in Alaska for some length of time or um, you're still here. So there's this place, well, it used to be called the Office Lounge. And it was a really nice establishment. Um, they mostly played like R&B music, hip hop and stuff like that. I mean, it was a really nice setup. There'd be a guy in there. You can get wings, you could get fries. I mean, it was just a really nice setup, but for whatever reason, it kept getting shut down. So it's no longer if you were wondering and you don't live here anymore they shut it down they shut it down there was something going on with the owner and so there you go y'all know we can't have nothing so <laughs> i'm just playing all right here's a view of some more of the little shopping centers that they have over here All right, for those of you, if you know, you know. So the one hour fireweed cleaning uh, has been around since forever. I can't remember a time when this business was not here. They're still going strong apparently. So kudos to them. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna get your clothes cleaned in an hour, if they have enough capacity then they'll turn that around for you. I do remember one time I went to them for one hour cleaning and they just couldn't get it in. And that's understandable. All right, you guys. So my car is saying it's 69 degrees, but I'm pretty sure that's off. It feels really, really hot. So we have Barnes & Noble over here to our left. Hopefully you can see that. And we got Walmart coming up to our right. Let's see if I can get Walmart. Hopefully. Okay, so by Midtown being the business district, it would make sense that they would have quite a few hotels, which they do, located in this area. So right next to me is Embassy Suites, but I think I showed you guys Spring Hill Suites. I mean, there are a ton of hotels here. There's one area in particular that just has a whole bunch of them. It's like a, it's like a hotel neighborhood or something. We'll go over there in a second, but, um, this is one of the hotels that the company that I used to work for, one of the companies that I used to work for, used to put people up in. It's very nice. Not promoting them or anything. Do your own research. Um, but yeah. Okay, you guys. So it's like Hotel Central over here. Um, over there we got Homewood Suites. And we have... 
I can't make it out. Okay, we'll swing over there. All right, so they have some little shops around here, like I mentioned before, um, some eateries. We will get into that in a little bit. Sorrento's Italian restaurant, you guys, hands down, the best Italian restaurant in Anchorage. If you don't agree with me, I don't want to hear about it. And if you want to argue with me in the comments, please don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Sorrento's is so good. All right, and we cannot forget about Moose's Tooth. This place. This place is always packed. It has some of the best pizza in Anchorage. You've heard me say it before. Come check it out. And we also have Obesity Corral, AKA Golden Corral, located in Midtown. <laughs> 